Welcome back to channel everyone. In this video, I'm going to talk about Power Apps user permissions for SharePoint list. You can use this into your Power Canvas app as well as your model driven app. So the requirement we have is whenever I open a new form, I can see all the data here, uh, including assigned to and status column as well. What I want is this assigned to and status column should only be visible into edit form and in the edit form itself it should be visible to specific set of users right for that i have already created a system request access control list where i can use n number of user and those user can actually access these two fields right in my edit forms and new form should not have these two fields so let's just talk about how we can achieve this go to my power apps customize form we'll wait the forms to load once my form load, first of all, I'll delete this attachment field. I don't need this. And I'll go to my assigned to data cards. Unlock this one. And uh, I'll go to the visible property of this particular one. That is this. As you can see, this is right now set to true. So what I have to do first is I will apply a lookup. So basically, I have to connect this uh, system request access control list first i'll go to the connection add data sharepoint use my credential select my site and uh, then i have to select the list name connect once it is connected i'll go to the assigned to visible property by default true what I have to do next is, this is my SharePoint form 1. So I will uh, apply a lookup here. Lookup on to this system request access control where I have to fetch this username. This is a person in group field. Username dot email is equal to current login user dot email All right and close the bracket here as you can see this is giving me error because the data type is record and it's looking for text so I will apply dot again the field name which is username and then type email right and that's it the data type is text now it's giving me delegation warning which is fine and now what I have to check here is because this visible property is true false so I'll apply is blank here and close this so this is blank is giving me false so that means it is checking if this is blank or not the result of this one right because uh, it's checking here it's my name here it's picking my name's email id here which is my name email id and then i'm the logged in user it's getting my email id as well and comparing and it's saying it matched so and now that it's checking if it is blank that is not blank because the data is there my email id is there so i have to apply not equal to blank and then I will save this and now you can see it's giving me true so we are sorted here one part is that and because we have to uh, you know enable these two fields into edit form only and we have only one form here as you can see I will apply and that is my logical and I'll check uh, this SharePoint form one mode mode is equal to form mode dot edit and put a comma separated here and at last close the parenthesis right and it's giving me a result true that means this particular property will be visible only when my form mode is equal to edit and uh, this property is true as well so both the condition true then it will return true and the visibility will be true 
and now as you can see my form mode here that is added if I change here it to new you will see that that field goes out right and if I select it that will come up so that means working perfectly fine so now what I'll do this field name is data card value 7 you can see it here right and I'll go to the assign to this text here and we'll go to the visible property of this one and we'll say data card value 7 dot visible property will be applied automatically to this one and same I'll unlock this one on the status one go to the visible property of the text first we'll replace this with uh, visible property of this one data card value 7 and same goes with this as well visible property true and now save this we'll test this here as you can see my form is edit form if I change this to new form all the field goes out and if I select the edit one these assigned to and status field are here so means our formula is working perfectly fine I'll save this publish this to SharePoint I'll go back to my list refresh this one first time it might not occur because uh, power app had some cache issues but we'll see as you can see all the fields are here I'll refresh it again so now you can see when I open new form I have uh, till the description field and if I go to my edit form here I can see the send to and uh, the status column here so I can assign this to anyone like typing by name and like started in progress I can save that value as well so this is the way you can provide user permission to specific field into your forms or even if you are using power canvas app and can manage the permission that way and if I remove this particular user I should not be able to actually see this into edit form as well now I'll refresh this I'll go to my edit form So I'm not able to see uh, those two fields into edit form as well because uh, I'm not a user in this access control list. I hope you like this video. I'll put uh, this logic into my description or into my comment section and try this into two or three times if it's not working first time for you because Power App had some caching issues. And do not forget to subscribe our channel as well. Thank you so much for watching.